after over 3,600 kilometers of racing, the peloton has finally reached Paris and the big sprinter stage on the Champs-Élysées. For team giant Shimano, this year's tour saw early success with wins in Harrogate, London and Lille. However, their lead man would have to survive all 21 stages to take the final iconic curtain call. I think we've done quite well. I mean, four wins is pretty incredible. Uh, the first stage, the last stage, um, the one in London, Paris. I mean, it's been it's been great. They're very, very happy, very proud. It's one big team and it's one big win for everyone. And everyone is uh, a part of the success. We had a couple of uh, good lead outs. The first day was a good lead out. I think London was really, really nice. I think London was pretty much uh, perfect and um, we got pretty close again today as well. Uh, I think it was, um, we started pretty early but we had, a, we had a good run in. I think we were strong and, and everyone did his job and everyone did exactly what, what we planned to do. So, extremely happy. It's now time for the riders and staff to sit back and reflect after what has been three brutal but rewarding weeks in the saddle. One of the most uh, prestigious wins we can get, especially as a sprinters team. I mean, this is more or less like the World Championship uh, bunch sprint. And this is the second time we take it. Yeah, I'm really tired, but really, really, really happy, aesthetic. Yeah, it was a hard work, but uh, we, we done it, so. Uh... Yeah, it's hard to describe, it's really incredible. Um, to be again here, the winner, uh, to do again, the really great teamwork before the win and yeah, I think it's just a, a perfect end to a really good Tour de France event. After a quick celebration back at the team bus, the riders of Giant Shimano also have more traditional ways to celebrate in style in Paris. Well, first we're going to do a lap of honour on the, on the Chance of these days, so, you know, just uh, uh, celebrate a little bit, wave to the people on the side of the road, and, and then uh, we'll go back to the hotel, have some dinner all together, and maybe have a little bit of a party afterwards. Just maybe. Just maybe have a couple of drinks, yeah. <laughs> it's one big family, and uh, this shows it, and it's, uh, we, we win and lose together, and this is, this is uh, after all the hard work and away from home, this is great to have your loved ones close to you, and especially when it goes so, when you are so successful with the team. There's barely a chance to relax, though, before the team has to think about the rest of the season and what's next on the training and competition schedule. There's not that much rest coming up. There's a lot of crits, so I mean, um, it's the time to, uh, to go back to the Netherlands and, and to thank everyone for their support and, and show ourselves uh, in the towns in the Netherlands. And, I'll have some, uh, some rest after that. And we have uh, some serious plans for the rest of the season, so uh, we're going to do a good Vuelta with uh, John Degenkolb and Warren Bagil. We have uh, Tom Dumoulin and uh, Simon Geske going to the Canadian races, so uh, yeah, we, we're aiming for a good fall as well. Yeah. It's funny, I thought you were going to have a party, maybe. I'm pretty sure we're going to have a party, yeah. 